Okay, so you got the water boiling. You see, I don't have that much water in that pot. So don't use what it says in the box. Um, you don't want that much water. Then you get it salted with maybe a tablespoon of salt. And uh, you get to cook it a minute less in the boiling water because as you're taking it out, it's still going to be cooking and then you're going to put it in the pan. Um, and if you're using gluten-free barilli pasta, I use spaghetti or fettuccine, it's going to be about the same. I think you cook that about nine minutes. Uh, regular uh, semolina pasta, you're going to cook about 10 minutes. Maybe a little more, you know, depending on your taste. All right, so I have the uh, garlic is in there. It's cooking. You see I have it at a very low flame and nothing's happening here. But just be patient. Eventually it'll start bubbling. And then you might want to just turn it up a little. Uh, if you have an electric stove, it's kind of hard to gauge. So start as low as you can and just... Uh, before you even put the pasta in. So you're gonna cook this. Um, normally it says four to five minutes because that's if you have the heat too high, but if you're gonna cook it very, very low and let it take its time cooking, uh, it could be up to six or seven minutes. Okay, so you see I just put the pasta in, my linguine, and when I said six minutes, it's six minutes after you're gonna really start cooking it. So you can see, if you look really close, I didn't touch that heat. You see those little bubbles? See it? Okay. Okay, that means it's starting to cook it. So you want to just mix this around. Maybe turn it up just a little bit. And you know, it's just to gauge how much it's cooking. All right, so you want to get this soft. So it's going to take about the same, maybe 10 minutes, that it takes that to cook. And remember, the garlic will keep cooking afterwards, too. So I'm just going to turn it up to two, but watch it carefully. Make sure it doesn't bubble and start getting brown. Okay, so you can see what's going on here. See? It's bubbling. It's simmering, but it's not going to even brown it. I'm going to even turn it down just a touch. And you're going to want to just keep moving it around and mixing it. And you'll feel with the wooden spoon when it's starting to get soft. Pasta's doing good. Well, another thing that I do that's weird, uh, you don't want to cook the cheese if you're going to put Parmesan on it. So you, I put the Parmesan grated, maybe a tablespoon or two, in the bottom of the bowl, then just mix it in when I put in the pasta. Okay, so you see how starchy the water is and it's going to be the same that with gluten-free but not exactly the same it's not really starch or gluten-free but it'll do the same thing and i just want you to see the garlic oh it smells so good ah but notice it's not brown at all olive oil's getting richer but it's never bubbling more than that even if i have to turn it down to almost off it took years for me to monitor that to not have any gold in that garlic, but it's cooked. Okay, so when it's about a minute from being done, seven seconds, have your tongs ready. Just take it off the flame and using your, you're gonna try to get some of the water in there. Mixing in right away. I didn't turn up the heat on this. So you see that pan get nice and hot, just even with the low temperature. But we're gonna get all of the pasta out of there. Dragging some of the liquid along with us. Guess I should turn this off. And then you're just gonna give it a quick mix. Add a little more salt and pepper, that's for me. It's mostly pepper. And then I'm gonna throw it in that bowl with the cheese. Okay, so I timed my eggplant to cook. That's my baked naked eggplant. You should have the recipe for that. So I'm gonna take one, maybe I'll take two slices and just cut it up, put it right on top. And that's my finishing touch for 
Almighty, all your Lord, all your, all your spaghetti. Enjoy.